And Lord have mercy, Jesus Christ, after everything that we went through with Brother Ed, you gonna tell me that you gonna leave Sonya sitting up there now, y'all? What did London do to him? What did Vegas do to him? What did Paris Rio do to him? You know what I'm What's saying? up, y'all? What is up? It's your girl, EJ, and welcome to the recap, y'all. Now, today, we're gonna be talking about the family business, and we're specifically gonna be talking about your boy, Junior. Now, we need to talk about why your boy, Junior, acted a doggone fool on this finale, y'all. Now, I understand that some of you are gonna say, but he has the right to be upset, and that is completely correct. Correct. Junior had every right to be upset. But at the end of the day, Junior also had the right to listen to both sides of the story. And most importantly, he had the right to be respectful to the people who raised him, loved him, and cared for him his entire life. What he did was out of line, and we're going to talk about that a little bit later. But before we do all that, we need to know how in the world did Elsie and Chippy even end up with Junior? And how did your girl Donna actually lose Junior? Let's get into it. Okay, y'all. So first and foremost, there is no love lost between Junior. Chippy and Donna, these two have never gotten along and you don't even need to go into the book to figure that out. From the television show alone, you can tell that these two have no love for each other. There's that time when you know, Donna tried to help Junior get away and your girl Chippy went over there and put them hands on her. There was that time when, you know, Donna showed up to Junior's wedding in all white and Chippy had something to say about it. And last but not least, there was that time when just recently when Sasha died and Donna made Chippy get out of her seat. You know what I'm saying? So these two have always had some sort of animosity between them. But this animosity lies deep and it goes way back. So before we actually get into the details of how Elsie and Chippy ended up with Junior, we have to go back a few steps for just a moment. Now, your boy Elsie and Donna were a thing long before there was an Elsie and Chippy. You know what I'm saying? These two met in college and they became engaged really quickly. Now, your girl Donna was from a whole different side of the world. She had money, she was super bougie, and her father was a doctor like she came from a well-to-do family now on the other hand your boy lc you know he was from a different side of the tracks you know his family was you know kind of in the criminal game and so they were totally different total opposites of each other but they loved each other they cared for each other and they were about to get married now keeping it real nobody in his family really cared that much for donna because she was a bit much to deal with as you can see from the television show trust me the book donna is even more but you know this is who he chose to be with now as fate would have it your boy lc is gonna bump into chippy at some point and these two are gonna hit it off however lc is a man of character and he's very loyal and he knew that he couldn't be with chippy because he already made this commitment to donna and so that's what he did so you know they go their separate ways now on their wedding day on the day of their wedding your boy lc has a change of heart he just can't do it he just can't you know marry donna knowing that he does and love her knowing that he isn't in love with her he has love for her for sure but he's not in love with her so he leaves her at the altar and he decides to you know that this wasn't what he wanted to do now y'all your girl donna is devastated by this because at the end of the day and i'm keeping it real with you based on the context of the book lc was her fallback plan lc was supposed to be you know, the person that was going to take care of her. Now, without going into a whole lot of detail, so pretty much in the book, Donna's father commits fraud and they end up losing everything and he leaves them and they have nothing. You know what I'm saying? And so she needed this engagement to work. She needed to marry somebody who would be able to help take care of her. After all, her father has taken care of her her entire life. You know what I'm saying? So she needed this. And after this happened, and her life kind of went downhill it kind of spiraled you know and she somehow ended strung out on drugs she ended up with a drug habit so that's kind of where your girl Donna ended up in life. Now, meanwhile, Elsie and Chippy would find their way back to each other. They would end up getting married. And one day, your girl Chippy is going to bump into a friend of hers. And they're going to be talking. And this friend is going to tell her, like, hey, you know, your girl Donna is strung out on drugs. And, of course, Chippy didn't believe it. And she's like, and not only that, but she's pregnant, you know. And this got your girl Chippy to thinking, like, pregnant. Like, she's wondering how pregnant is she? 
You know what I'm saying? Because after all, she was with LC not long ago. And if it's in the right time frame, then this definitely could be LC's baby. And she had to make sure and she had to find out what was going on. So Chippy goes out to look for her and she ends up finding her. She ends up finding her in one of these drug houses. And your girl Donna is very, very pregnant. Now, Donna has no love at this point for Chippy. Like, she hates Chippy. You know what I'm saying? And she hates LC, too, by the way. Like, she can't stand neither one of them. Like, she definitely has some deep-seated issues. And I can't say that she's wrong for being mad at LC and how everything went down. When she finds Donna, your girl Donna is going to be like a skeleton. You know what I'm saying? In the book, she's described as someone who's really beautiful with this long, thick hair. But when Chippy finds her, her hair is all matted, and she definitely doesn't look like the Donna she remembers. You know what I'm saying? So your girl Chippy's going to ask her, like, is this LC's baby? And she's going to be like, FLC and his baby. And at this moment, Chippy's going to know that this is LC's baby. And she can't leave her there in the condition that she is. She would never be able to live with herself letting her stay there, you know, knowing that she's carrying Elsie's baby. So she's like, look, you got to come with me. You know what I'm saying? And so she basically drags your girl Donna out of the drug house. And because Donna's weak and fragile, she can't fight her. You know what I'm saying? So she gets her into the car and she takes her to Miss Emma. Now, y'all, Miss Emma is like that person that you go to. She she ain't a doctor, like, in credentials, but she know all the doctor stuff. You know what I'm saying? You go to her when you don't have the money and when you are in the criminal world and you need somewhere to go on the down low, you know, you can't go to no hospitals. That's when you go to Miss Emma. So she goes to Miss Emma and they get her in the house, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, they get her bathed and cleaned up and all that type of stuff and they feed her. And, you know, Donna is just saying a lot, y'all. Like, Donna is still upset. She doesn't want to be there. She just wants to leave. And she definitely has no love for this baby that she's carrying. And she lets that be known very clearly that she do not care about this baby. And she damn sure don't care about LC. You know what I'm saying? But Chippy is, com you know, Chippy is like, nope. Not going to do it. You're going to stay here. So they, um, so she has to stay there. She can't go nowhere, y'all, is what it all boiled down to. She can't go nowhere. So she stays there, and every day Chippy showed up, you know, and they got her cleaned up, and they got her pretty much clean. You know what I'm saying? This went on for about a month. Now, based off of the book, LC doesn't actually know about this. He doesn't know that this is going on. So Chippy never told LC about it initially when this was happening. Okay, y'all, so your girl Donna is going to give birth to Junior. Now, after she gives birth, your girl Chippy is going to be the one to give Junior his first bath. She's going to feed him first. She's going to hold him first. You know what I'm saying? And in that moment, Chippy fell in love with this baby. She loved this baby, even though this baby was not hers at all. But she knew that this child, she would die for him, that she would do whatever it was to protect this child. Now, once Donna woke up, Chippy asked her, hey, do you want to hold the baby? You know, she tries to give her Junior, and Donna refuses Junior. She says that she doesn't want to hold the baby and that she wants nothing to do with that baby. She doesn't want Junior at all, you know, and so Chippy's left there with this woman telling her how she doesn't want this baby. And in that moment, your girl Chippy made a decision. She said, well, can I have him? You know, and Donna said, absolutely not. No, you can't have this baby. No, you can't have him. I'll put him in an orphanage before I let you have him. You know what I'm saying? She didn't want him, but she also didn't want Elsie and Chippy to have him either. And she wasn't budging on that. So your girl Chippy makes another decision. I mean, she's desperate and she doesn't want to leave Junior with Donna because Donna don't even want him. And so she says, I'll pay you. You know, and I'll give you a thousand dollars and a bus ticket. But you know what? You got to sign these papers and you got to sign him over to us and never look back. You know what I'm saying? And so she does one more thing because Donna still isn't convinced. But Donna has a habit. And your girl Chippy actually had some drugs because Miss Emma told her that they may need those drugs because they were trying to, you know, you know how you have to sometimes give people drugs in order to help them. I don't know about how drugs work, but I know that sometimes when people are rehabilitating off of hard drugs, they have to give you a little bit of something to help wean you off of it some kind of way. 
anyway, y'all got to figure that out on your own because your girl don't know nothing about no drugs. But anyway, Miss Emma told her to get it just in case they needed it. Anyway, she raises the drugs up and she said, what about this too? You know what I'm saying? The money, the bus ticket, and the drugs. And Donna reaches out for the drugs because the entire time that she had been there, that's all she wanted. She just wanted to go get the drugs, but they wouldn't let her leave. And of course, they weren't going to give her, you know, the actual drugs unless it was necessary. So anyway, y'all, um, Donna reaches out for the drugs and she says, okay, you know, deal, you know, and it was a done deal. Now, now your girl Chippy felt bad about it, but she knew that Donna was going to go out and get those drugs no matter what, whether it was her that gave it to him or whether it was someone else that gave her the drugs, she was going to go and find those drugs. So even though she felt bad, she needed Donna to give her the baby. You know what I'm saying? She needed Donna to sign the rights over to the baby because she wouldn't be able to live with herself knowing that, you know, Donna went and gave this baby up and that Elsie's child was out there somewhere and that she could have prevented it or stopped it in some way, form, or fashion. She felt like she did what she had to do in that moment, y'all. Okay, y'all, so let's talk a little bit about how we got to where we are now. Because at the end of the day, even though your girl Donna gave her son away, even though your girl Donna was on drugs, strung out, and all that stuff, at some point, Donna would get clean. At some point, Donna would come back to herself. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like, you know, that moment when Donna shows up at their house, there is going to be a point when Donna's going to show up at their house. And that's because she's going to be helping your boy Lou. And there's a whole story about that as well, y'all. And at some point, we're going to get into that uh, in a later video. But when she shows up and Chippy and Elsie can see that she's clean, I feel like at this point, you know, this is where some of the healing has to start. You know, this is where you start to say, okay, this is his mom. And maybe it's time that we, you know, allow some visits. You know, they could have been supervised visits. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't know what her life is completely like, but you can definitely see that she is not strung out like she was. And this is where they could start kind of introducing him little by little and allowing her to spend some time with him. You know what I'm saying? They could have still had a ironclad legal agreement. You know what I mean? Like they still could have had that because uh, she did give her rights and all that stuff. I mean, they could have still made it to where she didn't take Junior away from them because that's more so of what Chippy was always concerned about is about her coming back and taking Junior away. After, you know, Chippy has this bond with him, she loves him, like, she would give up her life for this kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, he means everything to her. Junior is her child through and through, and nobody could tell her any different. But I do feel like there should have been a moment where this secret was just no longer a secret, you know what I mean? Whether they came up with the time frame of when they were going to tell him or even if they wanted to wait till he turned 18 and then told him, like, I would have been OK with that as well. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like the secret went on way too long. And that's where I feel like Elsie and Chippy messed up. I feel like they held on to something that should have been told to him a long time ago. But they weren't the only ones that held on to that secret, y'all. At the end of the day, Donna also held on to this secret, and I feel like she could have at any moment came to Elsie and Chippy and been like, look, it's time to tell him. The same way that she did, you know, recently, she could have done that a long time ago. She could have been like, look, it's time for him to know. And I think that Elsie would have agreed. You know what I'm saying? Because he agreed very easily that it was time. And, you know, the only person that didn't want to do it at the moment was Chippy. But I think even she would have come around to the fact that, you know, it was time to tell him that it was time to go ahead and get this secret out the way. And I feel like had they have sat down and told him together, Junior wouldn't have reacted the way that he reacted. Because at the end of the day, it sounds like he got a version of the story from Donna. And what version of that story? story was who knows okay y'all so we also have to talk about this because I also think that this is very important as well because like I said I want to present all of the facts and then you can make up your mind as to whether you think Chippy was wrong or whether you think Donna had the right to do what she did or if you think Junior had the right to react the way he reacted but 
after you have all of the facts. Now, let's talk a little bit about the fact that at some point, Donna does have another child, another child, a baby girl, Sasha Duncan, and she has it with the brother, Lou. You know what I'm saying? Her and Lou get together. Her and Lou have a child together. Now, we know both from the book and from the television show that your girl Donna at some point decided that she didn't want to be a mom. This is the second time that Donna decides she don't want to be a mom. Only this time, she don't give the baby up from the beginning. This time, and she decides that she's going to gallivant around, do whatever. You know what I'm saying? And your boy Lou ends up raising Sasha. So now, another Duncan man is raising his child that he's had with her. But yet, she decides in the end that, you know, that they're wrong. You know what I'm saying? That she's not going to let them have Junior. Ma'am, you gave Junior away. You know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't take him. You gave him away. Were they wrong for not telling Junior about you sooner? Because we all know that secrets never end well. So this shouldn't have been a secret. This is something that they should have told, that they should have got it out in the air with. It should have been done. You know what I'm saying? Point blank and period. There's no doubt about that. But at the end of the day, your girl Donna has done this two times. Her and Sasha didn't have a great relationship. Were they trying to make amends? Were they trying to have a relationship? Absolutely. But that doesn't take away from the fact that Donna wasn't a mom to her. You know what I'm saying? But guess who was a mom to her? Guess who was? I don't even have to tell you. You already know. You already know who played a motherly figure in her life. But once again, you know what I'm saying? Donna is playing this victim, you know, and I'm just like, really, Donna? You're going to play this victim. Is that what you're going to do? So now let's just get on your boy Junior for a moment because Junior comes in, you know, he comes in and he literally has the nerve to say, you know, you know, he, he's mad because Chippy Charlotte Duncan is not his mother. Sir, she is your mother in every way, form, or fashion that, you know, a person can be a mom. She held you first. She bathed you first. You know, she tucked you in. She was there for you. She took you on your first day of school. Like, she did all of your first, bro. Like, all of them. You know what I'm saying? She was 100% there for you. Your mom wanted to put you in an orphanage. Your mom might have sold you to somebody. We don't know. We don't know what people do when they strung out on drugs. Your mom might have let you die. You might not have even been born because she was so strung out on drugs. But in front of the woman who raised you and who has been a mother to you and who is your mom, no matter what, you actually have the nerve to call Donna mom? Come on now. I mean, for anybody who says that Junior had the right to do this, come on now. Really? Like, seriously, really? Like, listen, I'm all for everybody having their own opinions about everything, but I just can't see the right in this particular part. I can't see the right in how he did it. I'm okay with him being upset. He has the right to be upset that they kept this away from him his entire life. But he don't have the right to be that disrespectful to the woman and the man who raised him and to his entire family. What did London do to him? What did Vegas do to him? What did Paris Rio do to him? You know what I'm saying? Orlando wasn't there, but what did he do to them? And Lord have mercy, Jesus Christ, after everything that we went through with Brother X, after everything that we went through with Brother X, you going to tell me that you going to leave Sonya sitting up there? Now, y'all, I done gave Sonya all sorts of held this entire season but she didn't deserve that she did not deserve for her husband to walk out and leave her you know what i'm saying the least he could have done is uh, the least he could have done is been like come on sonya let's go i can't stay here you know right now you know what i'm saying but to walk out with donna to leave with donna you know what i'm saying you gonna leave your wife like i don't understand that like, I don't understand that, and I don't see how Junior was right in any way, form, or fashion, no matter what the situation was. There was a better way to do this. 
you know, and at the end of the day, they deserve to be heard just like Donna was heard. And if you're going to be mad, be mad at everybody because everybody kept the secret from you. Like everybody did. And the only person that you should have been walking out the door with was Sonya Butt. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Sonya. Literally, that's it, y'all. So anyway, y'all, I don't went on a rant long enough. Hey, y'all, so that's what's up with your boy Junior and how he came to be with LC and Chippy. Now, let me know if y'all think your girl Donna was right for telling him on her own instead of the way that they agreed to tell them, which was together. Do you think that your boy Junior was right for what he did, the way he left his wife there standing there looking crazy, the way he talked to his mom who raised him and loved him? The way that he disrespected his entire family and said that he was done with them, even though all of the kids had nothing to do with it, they didn't know anything about it. So let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. Go ahead and get the conversation started down below, guys. Until next time, peace.